Hello, my name is Hanna van Raalte. I'm Product Manager for Moleflow Products in Autodesk. Today we're going to be talking about what's new in Autodesk Simulation Moleflow 2014. I'm going to be going through what's new in uh, DFM, Simulation 360 Moleflow CAD Doctor. Uh, we're going to be talking some of the new community aspects of the product, uh, improved user productivity, some new capabilities we added to the, the software, and uh, some new product interoperability. To get started, I would like to bring to you, your attention that we have made some branding changes in Autodesk. So Autodesk has gone through a lot of changes in the last couple of years with the emergence of cloud computing and mobile computing. In addition to our desktop products, um, we are going through a cult cultural shift. And this cultural shift is also ref we want to reflect in our branding. So Autodesk pr created a new uh, logo and we branded all our products a completely new way to reflect our change in, in the market. So let's have a look at what's new in DFM, Sims 360, Moleflow and CAD Doctor. So in the previous version of DFM, we've had the capabilities of running DFM within, within ProE and Creo, SolidWorks and Inventor. But this time around, we also added a new user environment for the product. So uh, if you do not want to run DFM within a, a CAD system, uh, for instance, because you have access to Katia or uh, Nex and not any of the other products, you can now bring those models into its own standalone user environment uh, and, and run the product in there. So give you a quick overview. So we have the widget. You can do a material change. You see now calculate the, uh, the, the analysis. You can run a filling animation. You can move gate locations and all, the, all those type of things that are you are used to from DFM. Another product we added to our product portfolio is Autodesk Sim 360 Mold Flow. And this is a, a new product that we added to our product portfolio. It is basically cloud computing for with using Moldflow, but it not, does not only provide access to Moldflow inside ultimate capability, so the superset of our product portfolio, but also to mechanical simulation, Autodesk simulation CFD, and robot structure analysis. So uh, all those products are, you have access to if you buy Autodesk Sim 360 Moldflow. I will not go into all the details of, of how this product works, but I, I want to bring to your attention that basically you, are, you put your client or your user interface on your local machine that can be a, a laptop or your desktop machine and you bring in your models in that user interface and when you do something uh, computationally expensive like meshing or um, uh, running a solve, the data is transferred from your local machine to the cloud and all the computationally expensive components will actually happen in the cloud. Uh, once the meshing or the, the analysis solve is done, the, the results are brought back to your local machine and uh, the data is removed from the cloud, so there will not be any residual material on the cloud. Uh, you can use the data on your local machine to do your post pre- and post-processing. Um, the data transfer from between your machine and the cloud is going through an, a secure HTTPS connection, so your data is always secure at any given time and nobody can access that. Another change that we made for this release is uh, we made a name change for CAD Doctor. It's called now called CAD Doctor for Autodesk Simulation. Uh, it also had some new uh, capabilities in, uh, that, um, for instance, we allow you to bring in CAD models from all uh, different CAD systems right now into the product without you needing the design link product. And we'll talk a little bit about that little change later on in the presentation. Um, another thing that we was added to this product was uh, single-click healing. So there are several uh, capability, se several healing methods that are, are becoming single click now, so it's much easier to get to a, a fixed model in a uh, short amount of time. Uh, the product now also works um, with not only with mold flow but also with mechanical and CFD. So if you export a, um, a fixed model from CAD Doctor uh, to mold flow, that same model can now also be read into mechanical simulation and CFD. So CAD Doctor also serves mechanical and CFD product lines. Going to the community aspects of our software. So this release we added a new community tab to our uh, product. And this is actually an area where you can find uh, things where uh, you can interact with other users. Uh, there, there is a place for the discussion forum that you, you've used, uh, been used to so far. But also, also a new thing I want to bring your attention to is called Idea Station. And the Idea Station basically is an area where you can basically uh, provide your own uh, ideas and other users can vote on those ideas as well. So it becomes a, um, a voting booth effectively for, for your product. So 
if we find out that like 100 customers are really interested in a specific feature, it's very good for us to actually know because then we can spend some time on, on those particular aspects of the software and to improve it. You also find links to Autodesk University and Autodesk Labs. Uh, but there's also a uh, get certified. So if you want to get certified for Moleflow, there's an, a, a link to that. Uh, you can also contact the Autodesk Lab. So you can, we'll, we'll take you to the Labs, uh, our Labs products. Sorry, they will take you to our uh, Moleflow Plastics Labs. We find all, all kinds of information about material testing and 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 what uh, you have. We also made some really good improvements in user productivity. So we're starting off with. Uh, the fact that we um, pr now provide all the model CAD translators uh, in the product for free. So if you have advisor or insight and did not have design link in the past, um, you now have access to all those CAD translators uh, built into the software. It also means that design link as a product will go away. So um, you will no longer have to pay subscription on design link uh, going forward. We also made a lot of improvement in our mesh preparation. So the mesh generation is up to 50% faster, particularly for 3D uh, and dual domain. It's particularly uh, quicker when you um, um, have larger models, so exactly where you need it to be. Uh, so the larger models will now take substantially less time to prepare. We've done this through um, like parallelization and, and some other smart uh, enhancements. We also make uh, some really good improvement in, in displaying thickness. So if you go to the UI and, and want to display the thickness of a part, the uh, thickness display is now up to around two times faster than before. And we also made some really good improvements in, in creating better quality models, particularly around fillet areas or rounded areas. There's a new option called uh, fillet size control uh, that m creates better quality meshes at a lower element size, uh, element number. We added some new results uh, to as well uh, for 3D. Um, frozen layer fraction, which is very similar to what we have in, in midplane and dual domain. It allows you to really quickly identify areas that are freezing quicker um, than air other areas and allow you to uh, find areas that you need to, uh, to address very quickly. So much easier to, to look at uh, results that way. Uh, we also added growth from uh, to this 3D results. This was already available in dual domain and midplane. It's now also added to uh, the, um, the 3D plots. So it allows you to actually see where polymer goes from one specific injection location, where it ends up. Uh, another area we add is some, some new results in the XY plots. It's uh, total part weight. And this is very similar to what you actually do on an injection molding machine, where basically you look at the part weight over time to help you identify when a part is packed out properly and, uh, and such. We also made some really good improvements in MuSel technology, particularly in the areas of speed improvements. So um, in the past, the MuSel, the, the MuSel analysis would take a long time to run. We sped it up tremendously by a factor of uh, six to seven, I would say, depending on the model a little bit. But it basically makes it a lot more attractive to run. Uh, we see like a lot of interest in the automotive industry for uh, MuSel technology nowadays, so this is really, really welcome um, for the automotive industry. The first new capability I was going to highlight is the conformal cooling. Uh, conformal cooling is a new technology that's becoming more and more popular nowadays with the emergence of laser sintering technology. It allows you to build cores that are highly optimized uh, for uh, cooling layout. So you can actually put cooling, where you, cooling channels where you want them to be. You're no longer restricted to circular straight uh, drilled holes, uh, which may not be optimal for, uh, for cooling. But you can really design your cooling channels where you need them to be. Uh, this is really becoming much more popular now, particularly in the uh, consumer electronics and the automotive industry. Uh, there's a lot of interest as well. So it allows you to bring down your cycle time as well as improve your product uh, quality. It also works with rapid heating and cooling technology. So it's an, a link built between the new technology we just added as well as what we had it in the last uh, release with uh, rapid heating and cooling. So this is a, a really wonderful addition to the software. The conformal cooling actually uses uh, simulation CFD technology. So uh, for the desktop products, uh, you're gonna, it requires a auto simulation CFD license. And where you run the analysis is also where you're going to need to install auto simulation CFD. The product runs completely from within the Molson environment, but it needs to access the CFD uh, product uh, to run. Um, if you own Sims 360 Moldflow, however, 
All the capabilities are included in that product. Two other variations of injection molding process that have become more popular in the last couple of years are injection compression and compression molding. Injection compression molding basically is you inject material in a slightly opened mold and then you close that mold and the closing action forces the rest of the material through the, the cavity. Um, we now added this capability for 3D. Compression molding is another variation of that similar idea where you inject or basically place, hand place, uh, a block of uh, material in a mold and you just close that mold at that point. That closing action again forces the material through the cavity. Uh, compression molding typically is uh, more seen as something that we uh, uh, has a lot of interest in the thermoset world. Um, the injection compression is more seen for the, uh, the thermoplastic injection molding, um, but both processes are supported for thermoplastic and thermoset materials. Another heavily automotive oriented uh, feature that we added for this release is bi injection molding for mid plane. Um, bi injection molding is basically the process where you inject um, two different materials into one cavity through two in completely independently controlled nozzles. So effectively, you have two injection molding machines injecting either simultaneously or in sequence in one cavity. A simulation of the, the animation of this process. See over here, we have two injection molding machines effectively attached to with different, completely different processes, and they inject simultaneously into one cavity. Again, this is heavily in a uh, very autom automotive-oriented uh, feature. We also added some new uh, capabilities for Cool FEM. Uh, we've been working on it very consistently in the last couple of releases, and we added the, uh, some extra controls for heater elements uh, in, in this right now. So if you build uh, an area where you have um, heater controls uh, with 3D elements. We now have uh, extra capabilities to control how we actually regulate the temperature. So this capability not, doesn't only allow you to run it uh, in the context of a, a hot runner a, um, hot runner controller, but also if you have, let's say, uh, heating bands uh, in a specific shape in your, your mold uh, to locally control your heat, you can basically model it with, with whatever um, shape you want it to be. and um, put the controls that you, you needed to, uh, to control the lo temperature locally. Some other capabilities and improvements we added to the code is uh, a 3D buckling analysis. For the last release, we added a 3D large reflection warp. Uh, buckling at the time was a uh, very memory and time consuming uh, analysis. We, it wasn't very practical. So we made some really good uh, algorithmic improvements to actually bring that memory consumption and the time consumption down uh, tremendously. So it's a lot more practical now to run and it helps you to decide whether or not this actually is a buckling case, yes or no. Um, we also added some uh, the ability to run several different gas controls to gas injection molding. So in the past, uh, we can only allow you to run one gas cylinder and one process uh, gas process to a um, gas assisted injection molding process. However, now we can actually add as many gas cylinders as you want. For large reflection uh, analysis settings for wire sweep, we allow you to now access the, 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 the large reflection settings in the, the controls. So you can actually specify like how you would want your large reflection uh, wire sweep analysis to run. So in terms of product interoperability, uh, we added some new capabilities to export mold results to uh, products like uh, Showcase and, and Publisher. And uh, that basically helps you to actually bring your mold results into a context that is very uh, more intuitive to the people you want to communicate to, let's say a designer or uh, somebody in marketing. So it allows you to actually use the mold results in a, in a, in a more uh, sophisticated fashion. So thank you for your attention. We are very excited about this release and I hope you are too.